I am a proud backer of the Shinmu 3 Kickstarter and a longtime member of the Shinmu 500,000 team, which pushed for Sega to give Yu Suzuki the Shinmu license. I wanted to play as Ryo Hazuki so bad that I even downloaded the Epic Games Store Launcher just to play my code for the backer exclusive demo. I got chills when hearing the familiar theme music at the menu screen. By waiting at the menu screen, a cinematic scene plays demonstrating the beauty of the game. I love seeing the characters rendered in high definition with brilliant lighting effects. The demo opens with Ryo and Shinwa crossing a bridge outside of Bailu village in search of a bookie with a scar. Ryo asks Shinwa to search the next village ahead while he searches the village square. Exploring the environment, he finds herbs scattered throughout the field. Proceeding forward, Ryo discovers Joy Park, a gathering of games such as Lucky Hit, Turtle Racing, and Roll It On Top. Further down the path to the village, a merchant sells goods, buys herb sets, and offers Ryo a job chopping wood. I loved exploring the store and opening the drawers. That takes me back. So does buying Gachapon toys. This is cool. I truly enjoyed exploring Bailu Village, watching children practice Tai Chi with Zhu Shang, talking with the locals, and just taking in the environment. Finding the bookie with the scar results in a fight, which Ryo loses with the bookie advising him to practice at Marshall Hall. Returning back to the bridge, our hero first crossed at the beginning of the game, leads to a dojo. Practicing with wooden dummies, Ryo strengthens his horse stance and one-inch punch. Talking to Master Huang Hu, Ryo learns that the bookie is a former student. He also gets the option to spar or to fight the students. Sparring allows Ryo to build his martial arts skills and to practice techniques. After training, Ryo returns to Bailu Village and defeats the bookie who advises Ryo to seek out another bookie before the demo ends. Graphically, the game strikes a balance between the original art style and a modern presentation. I love that the developers chose to maintain a style faithful to the original, rather than hyper-realism for the characters. The land is rich with detail, from flower field fields to the rural splendor of Bailu Village. Lighting effects transform the landscape as time passes throughout the day. From the opening theme to the tranquil melodies of Bailu Village, the high quality soundtrack builds upon the visuals to immerse the player in Ryo's world. The music ramps up during fight sequences with cymbals and drums accompanying the satisfying smashes of kicks and punches. Hearing Corey Marshall's voice transported me to another time in my life. The voice actors successfully capture the charm of the previous games. The use of familiar sound effects from previous games for menu selections further establishes this is the continuation of the classic series of past Shinmu games. The controls felt very smooth. I enjoyed the ability to explore the world in both third and first person, as it allows you to examine the environment from different perspectives. The demo provides Ryo with an inventory full of restorative items and relics from past installments. The combat system feels more balanced and refined from previous games. Failing to execute combos proved more punitive, and I felt like my skills improved the more I trained Ryo. I replayed the demo three times so far, but I plan to keep playing to learn more about the herb sets, to see the routines of the villagers, to defeat all the opponents at Marshall Hall, and to look for secrets. I find it a relaxing experience to just wander around the fields in Bailu Village. The Shinmu 3 backer exclusive demo confirms that this game is worth the wait. I am very excited about the upcoming release and I cannot wait to join Ryo and Shinwa for the next adventure in search of Lan Di. Thank you Yu Suzuki and your team, and the Shenmue 500,000 for taking me back to this world. It's great to be back. If you enjoyed this video then please smash that like button. We appreciate any feedback regarding our content, so please feel free to leave a comment below. If you want to see more awesome McGee TV content, then please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications of future videos. Evan and I put out videos weekly. If you'd like to support the channel, then please share this video on social media and visit our website at www.mcgeetv.com, where you can order McGee TV branded clothes and various other cool gifts from our Cafe Press store. 
Also, check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash McGee Television, on Instagram and Twitter at McGee underscore TV. Check out Evan's Twitch stream at XXSizzerpXXGaming, and my stream on McGee underscore TV. Thanks for tuning in.